Hello everyone, I'm Sophie and I'm currently at Kachara Forest Retreat, Bentong, Malaysia. And today I'll be reading from my Guru's blog on the topic of Dharma, Work or Just Work. And my Guru is Sam Rinpoche, uh, His Eminence, the 25th Sam Tuku Rinpoche. And before this sharing, I will go to the pic a picture to share with you. There you go. And this is in relation with my Guru's blog. Okay, Dharma work or just work? A few years back, I approached one student to open a restaurant for Kachara, but the student declined, citing various reasons. There are people who find reasons to win and some do not. So I approached Irene and asked her, to open and without hesitation, she said, yes. Irene has never operated a restaurant in her life. She has never worked in one also. But she said to me, if I think she can do it, she believes she can learn and she will do it. She found the premises. She did the ID, dealt with the contractor, found the staff and opened our first restaurant for Kachara. It was my way to promote vegetarianism and self-sustainability. -sustain now, Irene will, come, will be opening another branch of Kachara Oasis in Viva Mall soon. As you can see here, she has opened Kachara Vegetarian Express, offering inexpensive quick and delicious lunch and dinners. Kachara Oasis is one of the departments of Kachara and we are very proud of it. To make a department successful, we have to have the attitude, this is Dharma work. The better I do it, the better I become. The better I do it, the better it will benefit someone else. To benefit others and oneself is the driving force. We should not see work as work but as an act of our spirituality. However, we view the work, sorry, however we view the work, the work is the same. But if we view the work with love and expression of our spirituality, then we will do a much better job. When we do our work well, due to our attitude, then bigger and beneficial results will arise. Why not? If we do our job half-heartedly or because we have to, the work will have the same results. Then bigger and better things will find it hard to arise from you. Dharma work is an expression of our spirituality. Work is work, but Dharma work is Dharma work due to attitude. And the appropriate karma arises due to attitude, mainly not so much what we do anymore. We should do our work without doubts and questioning again and again. Why? Because once we have decided, it is our determination that will make something work, although it looked bleak in the beginning, or would not have worked without sorry, or would not have worked with mediocre efforts. Our attitude and determination is strong because we have strong determination in our spirituality and hence wishing to benefit others. The fundamental wish to benefit others can be fulfilled through hard work. Hard work in turn can fuel our fundamental wish to benefit others. Now, to see if we are genuine about our fundamental need, sorry, our fundamentals or just nice words written in the scriptures of Lamrim or what not. Then take up the challenge and win. Do Dhamma work. Reach deep within and find your spirituality through working for others. Dhamma work can become just mundane secular work when our attitude is not honed to supreme thoughts. Mundane work likewise can become Dhamma work even if we are not physically working Let's say for Kachara, if our attitude is honed correctly, work is work. Work is supreme when our attitude is for the benefit of others and we are determined to leave our comfort zones because 
the needs of the many surpass the needs of oneself. Sam Rinpoche P.S. Remember, attitude plays a big part in whether your work is fulfilling or not. Work does not need to be fun to be fulfilling. It just needs to benefit others. If benefiting others becomes boring, then you will find everything in life boring eventually. Make a mental shift. And that's the post for that I'll be sh I'm sharing for today. It's quite a short post, but it's very meaningful because as what Rinpoche says, work, everywhere we go, it's work. It's just work, you know, that we, we need to put in or we, like in Kachara, we volunteer or, be, is, um, or on a payroll to work for Kachara. So, you know, if, if it's our attitude that it's work, then we will not benefit. And in the end of it, we may even find it boring or maybe disappointing. But the thing is, with um, Rinpoche's um, sharing and on teaching, that if we do change, we shift our mind and change our attitude and uh, view it as something beneficial for others, then we will have that motivation to do more and also to view it very differently. And whatever obstacles that comes, we will um, have that mindset that um, a stronger stability in our mind as well to overcome the obstacles and as such, you know, we are also gaining from that experience and, and our minds will be very stable in the future and as such, we are able to even help others, you know, when they meet that situation, that same situation. And also, we must view that if we do our work or jobs correctly or the, whatever role that we play correctly and well, then it will alleviate a lot of um, the burden from others, you know, so that they do not have to correct us or they may uh, benefit, you know, from the help that we have given or, you know, that um, in doing our job well, then um, it will reap the benefit that comes, you know, let's say if as in the restaurant, you know, if we do our jobs well, then more customers will be happy and as such that the restaurant will expand and, you know, people will come to get, get to know more of Kachara. So that is something that uh, we need to always keep in mind that um, actually in whatever organizations that you go to, it's always the same. It's people. And with people, there's lots of um, stages, I mean, lots of um, different stages of um, um, thinking, you know, or thoughts. So we still need to, need to deal with that. And with the right attitude, we can create a very harmonious environment around ourselves and also for others. So... Thank you for sharing your time with me. And please do visit our Kachara Oasis um, restaurant. And as you can see from my pictures, uh, this, is, this is a Jaya one. See how delicious it looks. And the layout itself is very, very comfortable. Once you enter, you know, it, you have a, a very nice environment to eat eat, you know, with your family or have some functions, you know, corporate functions and um, or events and celebrate your birthdays, your marriages. And also, um, because it's a vegetarian restaurant, but it looks, I mean, the food is delicious, uh, you are promoting um, kindness and compassion towards another being, such as the animals that is being slaughtered for, for a lot of people's food daily. So, do pay us a visit at Jaya Wan, Kachara Oasis Restaurant. And now I end my sharing with a completion dedication, and this time I'll do it in English. May the precious body mind, where it is born, arise and grow. May that born have no decline, but increase forevermore. May the precious emptiness, when it is not born, arise and grow. 
may that bond have no decline but increase forevermore. May this merit accumulated by myself and others beneficially serve all sentient beings and the Buddha Dharma and especially may the essential teachings of the unerring Master Tsongkhapa become clear and enduring. In all my rebirths, may I not be parted from perfect gurus. Let me enjoy the abundance of the Dharma, perfecting the quality stages and paths. May I quickly attain the rank of Vajadara Buddha. By this virtue, may I quickly realize Guru, Buddha, Guru Buddhahood and transfer each sentient being into their, that enlightened state. May all conducive conditions arise and all obstacles be pacified in order to increase infinitely the doctrine of the spiritual king Tsongkhapa. By the merits of the three times of myself and others, may the doctrine of Lama Tsongkhapa blaze forever. At dawn or dusk, at night or midday, may the three jewels grant us their blessing. May they help us to achieve all realizations and sprinkle the paths of our lives with various signs of auspiciousness. May the holy teachers have long lives. May the enlightened activities be fully displayed in the ten directions. And may the brightness of the teachings of Lama Tsongkhapa continuously dissipate the veil of darkness covering the beings of the three realms. In this land encircled by snow mountains, source of every benefit and joy, may Lord Tenzin Gyatso Chen Renzik remain in this life until samsara's end. Whom, grant me here and now, appropriate attainments without exception, grant increase of the entourage, teachings and wealth, O mighty Shukden. Thank you again for sharing your time with me and please do join me for my next session. Thank you.